Cracky. Hey guys, what's Cracky Cubes here, and today I'm showing you three interesting ways to solve the Rubik's Cube. Um, and I'm also going to be using my new main, the Volk 3M, which I bought at Chicago's yesterday. Competition was super fun. Now let's get into the methods. So this first one is called F2 First. So it's basically a method where you do F2L first and insert your edges afterwards. So, um, this one, I, I would say you could probably do it. It might be a little bit more unnecessarily long than CFOP um, sometimes, but it, it works pretty well. So, basically just do F2L. So I see this edge right here, these two edges right here. So I can separate these two. Then I just insert it like I would a normal F2L. So there's no, there's this edge is in, is in the wrong spot. We'll worry about that later. We just have this F2L we'll pair in. So let me look at this. Here's right this. And here's the edge. So I can bring the edge up. Then insert this. Um, and I'm going to try a different background today as well. So if you like this background better as well, um, then tell me. I'm going to try it, see if it works better with this cube. Um, so our next F2L pair is actually this edge is on the bottom. So you see we have this edge, this corner's up here. We can just bring this edge up and finish. I will not finish F2L, but do F2L. And we have our last edge that's already in, and the corner's right here. So we can bring this up and insert it. So now that we've finished F2L, um, there's one more case you can get for F2L, so let me show you that. This last case is where you have um, a pair right here or right here, and you have an edge right here that belongs with a corner, which is right here. So you bring the corner up, but then you see this edge, and, and um, you have to get this up here, but the, you don't want to interrupt this F2L pair. So what you have to do is you have to make sure that this corner is not on the same face as this F2L pair, so move it out of the way. Then you want to move this F2L pair down, bring the edge up, bring the F2L pair back, and then you can solve it like normal F2L. And that is the only other case you can have for F2L. So, finish, gotta get F2L. So we see how we just need to bring this up, then we can insert, and now we have, where's, um, Oh, so we have this edge. Sorry, I'm trying to look through my camera, my iPod, so it's kind of harder. So I can do F12, and then we have all four of our F12 pairs inserted. So now let me show you how to get um, the edges inserted. We're on to inserting our edges. So we're going to look around, and I'm going to show you the easiest case first. Um, it is where you have one edge with the white on top and the color right here. So you can match up the color, then do a rotation. Then do the algorithm U2, M, U2, M prime. So U2, M, U2, M prime. That is the algorithm. So now we have this edge inserted. Now we see this blue edge right here, and we can't we couldn't we can't do the same thing because um it is it's flipped the other way. So what we have to do is we have to bring it over right here. And so that's on the right, and do it R prime, F, R, then rotate, and insert this F2L pair back in. And that will put the edge in. So now, if you have an edge in the bottom layer, you need to get it out by doing an M, no, an M prime, then a U, or a U prime, then an M again. So now that this edge is on top, we can, um, it's the way it's on top, so we can do a rotation, then a U2, then an M, then a U2, M prime. And now this is on top, so we can do again a U2, M, U2, M prime. And that will get all of the edges in. So now, on to the next step. So there really is no next step, you just solve it as if you were solving a normal 3x3, even though this is a normal 3x3. You do OLL. Um, like this, and then PLL. 
and the cube is solved. So that is F2 first. Now let's go on to the next, um, what's it called, method. So this is called the scramble cross. It's basically a method where you can do the cross however you want. It doesn't matter what orientation it is in. So we see we have two of these messed up. It means the um, right way. Then two of these messed up. Um, really what you have to do for this case, this is the first case, is you just do a Y to U. Then you look around and you have three messed up. So you want to hold the cross on top. And you see we can move these three edges around with a U perm. So we can do a counterclockwise U perm to move the edges in. And if it was um, if it was the other way, if we needed to get this edge over here, we would just do a clockwise U perm. And then sometimes you'll get um, a case where you have um, all three the same, all three messed up, and that's just what we did last time, but without having to do the wide U. So there is one more case. Let me get to that. So this is the last case you can have for um, scramble cross. It's where um, these two are messed up, and these two are messed up, and this is fairly simple. You just move it, you just move this edge up, and just switch it with this edge. And so now you move on with your solve as normal. Like this, so F2L now. And we're on to OLL. And PLL. So that is Scramble Cross. And I have poss and now I have possibly the best speed cubing method um out on this list and possibly overall the best speed cubing method ever. So let me show you that right now. So this method is called a wave. Um it's a fairly simple method, and I can get really fast times with it. You basically just um wave your hand over the cube and it solves. It's really fun to do. Um, you have to wait a couple seconds for it to work. When it does work, it is one of my favorite methods. Um, I might use it, um, well, I do use it a lot, um, but I do prefer to use, um, CFOP, or what I know of CFOP, um, I just find CFOP more fun. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and see you later.